Hi friends, today we are going to see a demo on Snowflake semi-structured data functions and uh, for this I uh, hope you have uh, seen a couple of uh, very useful data functions uh, like uh, array construct, array, array to string, object construct and object uh, construct keep null. So these are the four different functions uh, which we are going to uh, see a demo today and their use and their behavior difference between all of them. So if you have not seen my recent blog on Snowflake semi-structured data function, I would recommend you to please go and have a look because I have captured lots of theory over there. So let's start with the demo. Uh, in this demo, uh, I'm going to create a dummy database and uh, I'm going to use the public uh, schema as well. So uh, <clears throat> before we start with any uh, demo, let's let me showcase you the data. Uh, from the table so so I'm going to use the snowflake sample database and I'm going to use the customer table to uh, for this demo So here you can see that my data is in a row format and you can see a couple of columns over here So I'm going to use this uh, Table and the data to showcase the four different uh, data function and I'm going to convert this into a array uh, or in an object construct uh, functionality and then I will show, showcase you how you can use this in case of semi-structured data. So first of all I would like to uh, start with the object construct. So basically uh, this function will help you to construct the data uh, in an object uh, data type and will give you an uh, array like a, a function. So as you have seen this so when I use the object construct uh, with a a strict sign which means all the column it will automatically take all the column name as a key and the value of each row as a value so each row will have a combination of column name colon value so I'm going to uh, limit the data with the five rows and I, I want to showcase you how it looked like so let me create a table uh, with object construct now the table is created let me showcase you how the data looks like so if you have seen that previous uh, flattened table data you will you will able to realize that the column name and the data value is now in a more unstructured format so this is more like if you want to get the data in a object data type now the simple uh, uh, the similar thing is like uh, the behavior change when you have a null value so say if your uh, either key or the value either of them is null right so that that data will get ignored uh, when you are generating or when you are using this uh, object construct uh, functionality so it will ignore by default all the key or the value uh, rows which are having the null in them except if that is a parse that means like a, that's a uh, proper string null so here you can see that uh, i'm using value one as a string as for the key and the value I am passing is parse JSON as null. And here I am going to use the value 2 as a key with a string and then a normal null. Then a value 3 with a string null and then key as a null and then value as a string null. So now if I execute by default it will ignore this value. It will not display this value because either of the value of the key or the value is null. And it will also ignore this one. The fourth value because the key of this column is uh, for this uh, data is null so if i execute this you will see that we will see only two value value one because it is uh, parsing that string null into a uh, json value or basically it's a string null right so it's not a normal uh, sql null so here you can see value one and value three is visible because both are string and rest all the uh, value which are plain sql null is ignored the same if you want to include the null value on for the value part so if you, your requirement is that your key is always a uh, string but your value might be null so you instead of using object construct you can use object construct keep null so for that value so i am here i am passing the same uh, different uh, means like same value here the key is key one then i am passing the uh, string null here the key 2 is key 2 null, key 2 is a string and then value is null. Here key 3 is a string null and then I am passing the null key. So in case of object construct, 
key two will get ignored and value four will get ignored. But if I am using the object constructor keep null, in that case, uh, only first three value will get displayed and the fourth one will get ignored because if you uh, want to use object constructor keep null, your value can be null, but key can't be null. So that's the only thing you need to uh, remember or the difference between these two functionality is that key should always be not null value. Your value can be null in case of object construct keep null and it will return the uh, row or the value. But in case of object construct, if either of them is null, SQL null, it will ignore the row. So let's see the difference between the, so I'm passing the same value to both the function and you can see that as I said, for the first object construct, we are only seeing the key one and key three. And for object construct keep null, we are seeing the three value, key one, key two and key three. And fourth value is ignored because the key of the uh, input is null. The same thing if you uh, like, if, if you don't, don't know the column name and if you only pass the value, for the object construct, so uh, the call the object construct function will arbitrarily create a call dummy column called column one, column two, column three like this automatically, and pass the value or align the value with uh, the value which you pass to the column one, column two, column three. So say here I'm passing the value only, and I'm passing that to object construct. So you can see that automatically it created the dummy column called column one, column two for each row of the data without passing me as a key string so that is also one value where you do you you don't want to create any uh, key and uh, randomly it will pick the dummy column column one column two column three like this so this can also help you when you only know the value name not the column field name another thing is like if you want to create a array like construct uh, so you can use the array construct uh, functionality it will give you an array like uh, data and the data type of the output of this uh, uh, function uh, return value is array. So you can see that the, it will bring you the data inside the uh, square bracket and this will ignore the column name and it will only print the uh, value of that particular row. So if I execute this, I am using the same table and here you can see that this the data came into a very uh, um, array like uh, data uh, structure where all the values of the rows is uh, given in the sem uh, comma separated value and ignored all the uh, column name so like previous uh, uh, function where we used to see the key value like uh, pattern here I'm uh, here this function will only return the value in an array like format and if you want to declare a null uh, array so you can use the, this blank without passing any parameter and it will create the open close bracket like an array declaration, the null, null array. Now suppose say you already have an array construct, uh, like you already have a data in an array form, but you want to convert that data into a string format. So you can use the array to string functionality or the function available in Snowflake, which will help you to convert your uh, array data into a flat table or not even a flat table so i would like to say like more like a string like format so uh, this functionality will help you if you want to export the data uh, with a tab delimited or uh, any any kind of a character delimited uh, format in a flat file but your actual data is in array format so here you can see that uh, for, uh, because i don't have any data so what i'm doing i'm just passing the actual value and convert that value into array constructs first and then on top of that, I'm using the array to string with a delimiter, which I want is pi. And the similar thing, if you want to, uh, but if you don't pass any value uh, to the first parameter of array to string, it will ignore all the delimiter as well. So it will not like that. If I don't have any data, it will print the pipe. So it will not do that. It will ignore even the delimiter. So you should have at least one row to see the data else it will return as a null. So let's see the data output and then you will have a more. Uh, understanding of how it looked like so you can see like if it was an array it, it would have converted that into an uh, array format of the value and then uh, I just uh, uh, modify the data and convert it into a more string like delimited format so here it, the data is more like a pipe delimited data 
and uh, you, as you can see over here if i didn't pass any value so uh, i passed the null so it didn't uh, created any single delimited pipe rather it just ignored everything because there is no data so uh, output is also null and this can be also helpful when you want to just like if you have a data already as i have shown here so here i created manually the data rather here i'm just using that customer table with array construct and passing that into a array construct like a star uh, uh, star where it will automatically create the uh, array for each row and then i am converting that data uh, into a caret delimited data so if i execute this you will see that the data is more like a flat file export so if if you, anybody wants to export this data so they can easily say like okay export and then they can easily use this data with a tab delimited data so you can upload this data anywhere this is ready to use so this can be very helpful when you want to uh, get the uh, any character delimited data out of array so this functionality can be very useful as a string so that's all about today's demo and this was a couple of uh, important data functions uh, which you can which you can use or it can be very useful when you are dealing with unstructured data type so hope you like this demo and if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel thank you